Hello everyone, Nethip Q here. Sorry it's been a while since my last video. Um, I've been quite busy with uh, Christmas coming back, etc. So I coming up, etc. Um, but I'm back now, and uh, what I think uh, we'll do in this video is uh, do some um, carrier ratting, um, especially some super carrier ratting, and um, what I do and, and how I go about it. Uh, yes, I've made the investment. I've gone out and um, I've um, got myself a howl, uh, which was made for me. Um, quite a lot of money invested in this hell. Uh, I think the um, ship itself cost um, 16 billion worth of um, minerals and uh, with all the modules and all the drones on top of that, not drones, sorry, the fighters on top of that, um, it is um, around 26 billion um, worth of um, ship. So it is quite a hefty investment. Um, but what I'll do is today I'll show you how I go about um, doing sites with it and um, how quick and easy it is to do sites and not to lose fighters, which is the uh, most important thing because um, fighters are quite expensive. Um, but what I'll do first is I will change the skin on this um, to something a bit more fitting um, and let's change it to the Headhunter skin, which um, looks a lot better than the uh, glacial drift skins that you get with the uh, race wars which are currently going on. Um, so for the drones, <coughs> I'll just show you that quickly. Um, I have three sets or three flights of uh, Amatat uh, Tech 2, um, which are the heavy drones, and I have two flights of the Templar 2 um, light drones. And uh, as you can see, I've got a, a, um, a full set of Cyclops Tech 2s, uh, these are great for if you get an NPC um, Dreadnought or Super Carrier Spawn. Um, you definitely want to uh, load these in and um, and uh, use these to kill them because these basically can, can alpha the um, Dreadnoughts and Super Carriers. So um, that's why I've got a, a bunch of them in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I won't go over the fit too much. Um, suffice to say, um, it is um, quite tanky. Um, it is using uh, faction modules, um, especially uh, these ones, which are quite um, expensive. The um, A-type um, adaptive vulnerability fields, um, I have two of them, and um, they cost, um, I think, just over a billion each. Um, and uh, the most important thing is, uh, obviously, you've got uh, four flights of, um, sorry, four modules of the um, uh, fighter support tech twos up there. Um, and down the bottom here, you've got the um, Imperial Navy drone damage amplifiers. You've got uh, four of them there. And um, most importantly is this guy here, the Sino Fuel Generator. Um, if you do get into trouble, um, you can like that um, to to get assistance um, to be um, to be able to drop on you um, to help you out if you get tackled. And of course, um, no carrier should be without it. Is the um, network sensor array which um, majorly increases or sorry, decreases your lock time um, so you can target uh, you know rats really really quickly um, with that on anyway so um, let's go out and do it um, <clears throat> now before you rat in a super carrier um, if you want to be absolutely safe in doing it um, you need to have a fax alt on standby and if we uh, swap over to my other screen here as you can see, um, my alt here is in a Minakawa, which I personally think is the, the best um, fax that you can get. So he's on there, on standby, to uh, walk to my main in the hell um, to um, help him out if, um, if you know, he gets um, tackled. Um, so on this fort, um, we have another two hells up here, along with my one. So three hells on this fort and a Minakawa just to help protect the system. Um, so here we go. Um, so what do I do? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Um, first of all, um, the technique that I use, it doesn't matter if it's a gas haven or a rock haven. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. You're going to use the same technique. Um, and um, I, I have had no problem at all with um, being able to cope with the um, with you know drone sorry fighter damage it um, it just doesn't seem to affect me at all it's just um, the way I do it it may be a bit slower um, but it, you know it works for me um, but just for um, 
uh, you know, just for simplicity's sake, um, I will warp to a, um, a rock haven first, um, so I can just show you that, and then I'll warp to a uh, gas haven and um, show you how I do that. So it's pretty easy to, to figure out which is which. Um, if you open up your um, <coughs> probe scanner window, you right click on um, A1 and um, just say warp to, and then immediately stop your ship. Drive active. And if you get a window like this pop up, you know that this is a um, is a rock haven. Okay, the gas havens you don't get this window pop up. So I know that this is a gas haven. So what I'll do is I'll just let the uh, ratting channel know that I am actually going to be warping to it just by typing in the uh, first three letters in it. So what I normally do is I just normally warp to them at fifty. Warp drive active. Nice and easy. So we'll just wait. Super carries are you know, quite slow at um, getting into warp. And uh, one of the things you should have as well in your um, HAL is a whole bunch of um, mobile tractor units. Uh, these are really good for dropping down um, as soon as you land. Um, so you can collect all the uh, the rats that uh, drop, uh, the loot of the rats, I should say, that drop, um, just to be able to clear up. And then um, once you've done a whole bunch of sites, 20 odd or something, then you can go around and collect all your tractor units back up. Right, we're in warp. And we are warping to um, 50. And um, as soon as I land, what I do is I like to align out. Always align out. Um, and in local, just select all so you know who's coming and who's going. So I'll just move that down so a little bit more there. Right. So as you can see, we've landed. We're now at a warp. So as soon as we're stopped, um, I like just to align out. To a station doesn't matter just some station that's behind you and as you can see my my ship is, is turning turn the network sensor array on first thing I do is I target a structure within the um, the anomaly or in the in the site in this case the central structure here is the um, the pirate gate so I immediately just target that the reason why I do that is it's something for the fighters to orbit when they're, they're not actively attacking a target. Um, next thing I do is just uh, launch a, um, a mobile tractor unit and of course most importantly is just bookmark it. So now that's bookmarked so um, when I leave the site and go to another one and I'll finish I can come back and click the mobile um, tractor unit. Um, just select all the rats that uh, spawn, launch your fighters now, as you can see, I've, my main ship is um, is selected as well. I don't want that, so I just click on the first fighter, click shift, hold down shift, and then click all your other um, fighters. What I like to do is just um, click on the pirate gate and click orbit. And as you can see, all my fighters now will be going to the anomaly, and they'll be orbiting the gate. And I've set my orbit at... Uh, 12 kilometers which is the optimal range for these templates if you click on the templates or just ho um, hover over the templates you can see there that the optimal range is within 12 kilometers all right so that's what i that's what i do i set that to 12 to do that all you got to do is right click on it and say set um default orbit and you can set that to 12,000 meters which is uh, 12 kilometers so i've done that they're now orbiting the gate so I do have hotkeys, I have my Q and W that I can just scroll um, over the targets and uh, what I normally do is for the amitats I put them on the heavy stuff first and the templars I put on all the small stuff. So to do that just uh, simply turn the beam laser on, boom, boom, boom and we'll put this, the, um, the templars on the small stuff put a couple of missiles on this guy to get him gone. Now as soon as that's finished I click on the pirate gate again and click orbit and that's going to make sure that um, my fighters um, orbit the gate once I've killed the um, their targets. 
So you can say that's all done. The next wave again, just target everything. Doesn't really matter. Right, the big stuff. I put the amitets on. The small stuff. I put the uh, templars on. And I put a couple of missiles into those other ones there. It's not quite worked out, but that's all right. All right click on orbit so they can orbit the next target just always click on the orbit button just to keep them orbiting something it doesn't have to be the gate it could be the next target put two in there put these two here this is not worked out too well so it's because I'm trying to explain it as I'm doing it it's, uh, it's never a good way to do it um, again, press your orbit so it's orbiting that while you're targeting the rest. Alright, again, big stuff. And then what I can do there with well, this other third big stuff, I can put the um, Templars both on that one um, just to get that one off. Again, next target, click orbit. So as soon as these lot are dead, they're going to orbit this guy here. Alright, again, boom, boom. Alright couple of missiles there um, again these ones are stopped so I can put them on there as well and again orbit always got to keep them moving okay bit of damage but not that bad it is going to be yellow um, and sometimes when you um, when you're lax and you and you um, you know don't select the right target sometimes it can go to orange or should say, you know, amber. Um, but most of the time, it's fine. Um, again, big stuff first. Kill the little stuff. Couple of missiles into that guy. Wait until the damage goes down. Click on the orbit button. Keep them all moving. Okay, and uh, we'll just help this guy out here. Again, orbit. Okay, second little half wave. Again, same thing. Kill, 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 and a couple of missiles into that guy there. Now, sometimes you get this. Um, <coughs> where they're actually doing a, a dampening field on your drones, on your fighters so um, it doesn't do any damage because it's a bit uh, screwed up um, so in that case you just put another one on there just to help it out same with this one, again that's been uh, damped as well All right, and then press the orbit button okay last wave again target everything Target the big stuff first. Okay. Amethyst on the big stuff. Two Templars on a big one as well. With the missiles, we'll alpha that one off pretty quickly. Okay. Press the orbit button so they can stop and now they can select the other one. Again, missiles. Right, these ones are finished, so we can put them on these guys. Okay, press orbit, select the rest of them here. Okay, bit of damage there. Okay, click orbit, keep them moving. Die, die, die. Big ones on the small stuff as well since there's no other um, battleships there and that's it so this site is now done uh, so what I normally do is um, I will just uh, select my um, <coughs> Templar 2's I will return them I will not do that. I will get them to orbit that. Sorry. 
templates which is this guy here I will return to drone bay I will return to drone bay we're going to leave the uh, Amethet 2's out in space I'm going to micro walk drive these there we are going to select another site which is the next one in the list somewhere already there so we'll do JCM whatever that one is okay my template 2's are there so I will now walk off Warp drive active. and as you can see my Amitets are still orbiting the gate which is fine a little bit of damage it's, that's what happens when you're trying to explain something and um, not really paying attention to, to what's going on yourself um, but anyway that's quite unusual for me to get that much damage um, on a um, on a fighter right okay so this is another lock haven so again slightly different now because um, our amitets are still in space so as soon as we land I like to align out to a um, a safe point turn that on target the gate and now what I can do is I can with call all fighters and um, as you can see it's now saying that my um, Amitak Tech 2's are returning so we'll wait for them to arrive I will launch my mobile depot I will bookmark my mobile depot I will just select all these guys here and here we are my Amitak 2's have arrived they're now all locked up all docked up I should say they're all ready so I'm going to launch them all again I'm going to make sure that they are selected which they were which is fantastic I'm going to orbit the gate and uh, rinse and repeat big stuff on the big stuff template twos on the small stuff and a couple of missiles into that guy Let me just finish that guy off. Okay, kill this guy. That's it. Okay, orbit the gate. Get the next bunch. Okay, Amitats on the big stuff, Templars on the small stuff. Alright, now for that guy off. Orbit. So they're all going to orbit this guy now, which is fine. Until he dies. Alright, orbit the gate. Make sure you keep on track of um, who's coming into the system. And that guy's gone. So they're all orbiting the gate. And they're always moving. Keep them always moving. Okay, big stuff, small stuff. Alright, couple of missiles to alpha that guy off. There we go, one guy left. Alright, again, orbit the gate, keep them moving. Okay, big stuff, small stuff, couple of missiles. Oh, done already. Fine. Alright, again, this guy's been dampened again, so we'll just help him out there. Okay, next wave. So you can see it's um, a bit more involved um, than, say, uh, V&I ratting, 
which is just um, set and forget uh, with uh, carrier ratting it's a, a bit more involved um, but if you just normal carrier ratting and say like a, a Nidhogg or a Thanatos or something like that um, it's uh, you've only got three flights of um, of light fighters that you have to worry about um, so it's, uh, it's probably a lot easier to, to manage because all you've got is you've got your um, pulse cannons and your um, and your um, uh, and your missile volleys to worry about um, but again it is active um, it is obviously a bit more harder to do in a uh, hell uh, because you do have um, four so five sets of um, of uh, fighters that you have to worry about um, but I, I guess it's just a matter of just getting used to it getting used to the mechanics getting used to uh, always having the moving getting used to always you know clicking the orbit button so um, they are orbiting um, something so they are they are not stopped because um, as soon as uh, your fighter is stopped they are going to get um, alphaed yeah the rat will depend on the type of rat that's out um, you are going to get um, blapped quite hit quite hard and um, that's it that's that site now done um, apart from these guys that I forgot to um, select and uh, I've just lost the fighter because I was not paying attention see that's what I mean if your fighters are not actively moving boom it's as quick as that one dies um, so that's fine I mean you could just say as I did that just to show you how easy it was to lose them <laughs> um, but we'll do the next site and um, I promise you uh, we won't do it we won't lose any um, so let's just do this site this um, JSI we'll let people know that we're doing it um, so now that we're fueling that's fine we've got the template twos back so we'll warp off Warp drive active. Just put that down a bit just so we can have this window a bit bigger. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is a mistake that most people make is that. Yeah, you look at all the videos and all they do is they select targets and they click on the button to say attack and that's all they do and um, it does work for them if you're right on top of it and as soon as I've um, finished killing a target but quickly um, onto a, another target and, and killing that but if you're slow and you're not paying attention like I was just then um, it's really easy to, to lose a, um, a a fighter very very easy um, as soon as they stop they're just sitting ducks so it's, it's always good my technique um, to always um, select um, no click on the orbit button so as soon as I've finished attacking the target they're attacking they're going to orbit they're not going to stop um, it's just a little um, trick I, um, I picked up along the way um, right, so another um, another rock haven. Uh, so what I'll do is after this rock haven, um, I will purposely select a, a gas site just to show you um, how easy it is to um, to do a gas site as well. Um, so we'll return these guys again. Launch another mobile depot. Again, make sure it's bookmarked so you can come back to it once you're finished. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just wait for um, <coughs> our emitats to make it. Here we are. I've just landed. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually go to our drone bay. So once they have landed, I'll um, load another emitat into um, into the launch tube. That's it. They're ready. Let's put another emitat there. Okay. Good. It's all full. 
Right, just uh, make that window small. Right, launch them all. Make sure that they are targeted and not my ship, because I don't want my ship to orbit anything. Right, and um, away we go. Rinse and repeat. So this time I'm not going to speak too much. I'm just going to go go ahead and uh, just do it really quickly without speaking, because I don't want to lose any more drones. <laughs> And I will not hum either. Right, done orbit. Accept. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Right, and there we go. That site is now done. Um, so again, um, select your template tools. Uh, return to launch tube. You leave your um, Amitat tools um, in space. Um, and uh, let's just stop our ship because I don't want to warp off prematurely. 
just put these um, like warp drive on so they get here quicker. Um, right, so let's try and figure out which one of these is a gas. Warp drive active. That one is not a gas. Warp drive active. That one is not a gas. Warp drive active. Okay, this one's a gas, so we will go to PGP. Right, so let's go ahead. So again, I just warp to 50. Why not? Warp drive active. Um, again, with this uh, gas one, um, I won't talk. <laughs> I will just concentrate on uh, what I'm doing and um, and uh, we will not lose a fighter. Um, yeah, again, um, getting a fighter into yellow is normal. Um, that is going to happen. And, you know, the occasional um, orange or amber, yes, um, that will happen. Um, but normally, no, it's, um, yellow is, is all you're going to get. And um, that's perfectly fine and that, that's normal. Uh, you're not going to stop that from happening. Um, as long as you keep your, your fighters moving, um, they're not going to die. Regardless of if it's a rock haven or a, um, a gas haven. Um, which I will show you here. As soon as we land. Right, we have landed. So as soon as we land, again, just um, align out, do a safe, turn that on. Um, I like to select this um, chemical factory down here as an anchor point. Um, we'll return our um, Amitat 2s. Make sure that everything is targeting me, which they are. We'll uh, launch our mobile depot, which is um, as per standard. And as soon as it comes up, there we go. We'll go ahead and bookmark it. I think this is number four, isn't it? I've done four sites already. Um, yep, there we go. They've landed and they are now all docked up. Brilliant. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just um, select everything. Now with this one, I do it slightly different. Um, what I like to do is just alpha off all the um, small stuff first. I'll just put my chemical factory as the um, first um, first selected object. Right, so um, yeah, orbit that guy. Um, I'll actually just put these two um, defense batteries first as well, because I like to alpha them off. Um, again, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five and um, press the orbit button so once all these are dead they're going to start orbiting that so they're not going to stop and that's going to allow me to then select some more targets um, again one two three four okay orbit okay to imitate so on that sorry not to imitate it's to um Template twos on that um, battleship. One orbit. Put a fighter into that one. Too far away. It's dead anyway. want to put a okay and that's going to alpha off pretty quickly so again orbit in a chemical factory again just uh, orbit some big stuff for the amitats and then the rest all the small stuff so big stuff on the big stuff and the imitates, oh, sorry, sorry, the templars on the um, small stuff. Ok, 
Okay, orbit the next set of targets. Okay, it's a big guy there. Couple small guys. That guy. Okay, orbit, orbit. Okay, and orbit the chemical factory. Next wave, again, do the big stuff, and then select the small stuff. Put the habitats on the big stuff, and the templates on the small stuff. Right, and then orbit, got a new wave. Okay, big stuff. That guy is not dying. Right, let's just run for this guy off. Okay, I think this is probably the second to last wave. Okay, kill the big stuff. Get them in range, which they are now. Dun 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 dun. Uh, this is the last wave. So we got one into armor, forty three percent damage, but again that's fine. No big deal. And there we go, that's it. We are done. Um so yeah, probably not the best tutorial in the world, considering that I did actually lose uh Amitat. And uh these guys are not cheap. Um let's just uh find out um, how much they are on the market at the moment? Yeah, 33 million. So um, I lost 33 million, uh, which isn't bad. I mean, we've done what four sites, so I've definitely made back um, my uh, loss there. Um, but yeah, I normally don't lose them. Um, again, it was just uh, me trying to talk and not paying attention to to what I was doing, and unfortunately. Uh, one of them um, stopped, one of the flights stopped and um, got Alfred, which is uh, not good. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty crappy um, drop rate as well. Um, as you saw, we um, we didn't get any dread spawns or super carrier spawns. Um, we didn't even get any true sensor spawns. Um, so it's just a, a standard, um, standard loot drop. Um, 
but uh, yeah that's normally what I do um, what I'll do is I'll just um, walk back to the, um, the Fortizar just so I'm um, tethered um, and as you can see so we've done three sites um, this fit here that I've got is cap stable um, as you can see I've been running my uh, you know network sensor array um, all the time I haven't had to stop that like you do when you're normal carrier ratting and um, as you can see um, my shields have not dented one little bit 97% um, again it's just yeah HALs are, are super solid ships um, they are great at carrier ratting um, they do make really short work and um, as you saw we just um, did four sites um, I don't know how long it's been how long has this video been running for let's just have a look uh, this video has been running for 40 minutes and we did four sites um, again um, if you were just doing this on your own and you weren't talking and um, you just went out straight and um, did all the sites um, yeah it, would, it wouldn't take you 40 minutes to do it probably half an hour um, so it's, it's probably what you know two sites every every 12 minutes or a site every six minutes or so six seven minutes um, really easy to um, to alpha sites down really really quickly and um, yeah that's it um, what um, what sort of ticks did we get okay so the first tick again you know wasn't that good because we were we weren't doing as quickly as, as um, we should have been doing <clears throat> um, but if we uh, scroll down you can see some of the um, the ticks that I had been getting um, you know 65 74 um, 71, 50, 74, um, what else have I been getting, yeah, 58, 70, but this isn't doing it flat out, this is just doing it at a, at a relaxed, steady pace, um, one of the things that I, um, haven't been doing in the past, and that, um, is leaving my, um, my Amitat 2s out in space, when I've been warping to sites, what I've been doing is I've been once I've, the site's been finished I've been recalling them and um, obviously Emitat's been really really slow um, they take ages to to get back to your ship and that's what I was doing in each site and obviously that slowed down my tick rate um, which um, yeah wasn't that good um, and it's only recently well this you know today actually that have um, started leaving the um, emitats in space, warping to the next site, and then recalling them, and that seems to be a lot faster at um, getting them ready um, for the the next site than you know if you record them um, once you've finished the the previous site. Um, but there we go. Um, that's how I carry a rat. And um, apart from that little mistake, just ignore it, please. <laughs> Where I lost the fighter. Um, apart from that little mistake, um, it is really, really easy to do sites. Um, doesn't matter um, what sort of haven it is. If it's a, you know, if it's a rock haven or a gas haven, um, doesn't matter. It is really easy to do both in a in a super carrier and not lose fighters. Um, my approach is, as you saw, is to always click on the orbit button to keep your fighters orbiting something. So as soon as you select them to attack something, click on the orbit button. Yeah, as long as that orbit um, item that you've selected is within the same area as the drones, then you'll be fine. Because um, what you'll what you'll notice though is that if you click on the orbit button your drones immediately are going to start moving towards that object and orbiting it while they are attacking their current target so you've got to make sure that whatever you select for them to orbit is within the attack radius of the stuff they're currently attacking I um, hope that makes sense um, it's not like they're going to finish attacking what they're doing and then go and orbit as soon as you click on that orbit button, they're going to start moving and orbiting while they are attacking the target that they that they've got selected. Um, that's why, if you notice that in some of the instances when they were all attacking something, I delayed clicking the orbit button, and that's so that they can maintain their optimal attack radius around their their current target, so um, they apply more damage. 
and it's only when they when they're about to die that I click the orbit button. So you know they'll all start orbiting, um, which um, which is good to keep them all moving. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry um, again um, that I haven't uh, produced any uh, videos lately. Um, I've been busy with uh, Christmas coming up, and there's another tick of uh, 52 million, which is yeah, not bad for you know not doing it flat out. Um, but yeah, again, I apologise, and um, I will be making uh, more videos in the future. Um, but before I go, what I'll do is I'll actually just take a screenshot of this hell. Don't really like it with the sun there, though. That's the only problem. Should I just take it like that? Something like no. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let's um, let's just figure this out first. If I warp to that warp drive active engineering complex over there, is that going to give me a better light source? Because that sun is atrocious. Let me just take a screenshot really, really quickly and then we'll end this video. That's one thing I don't like is when you look at a YouTube video and you see the screenshot and then you watch the video and then you discover that the screenshot is, doesn't appear anywhere in the video it, it does actually put me off quite a bit <laughs> so I always like to do a screenshot when we are here um, so what I'll do actually is I'll actually turn these off so we don't get this crap in the um, in the frame I'll turn on my network sensor so we lose tether there we go and we will create a screenshot of that I think there we go one hell brilliant Right, now I'll just um, go back. Anyway, okay, um, thanks okay, guys right. and girls. Um, I hope this um, video was entertaining for you. Hope you um, learned some stuff about um, how I go about carrier ratting. Um, yeah, it, um, trust me, it is faster than that. I do do it faster than that. Um, it's just obviously talking and doing it at the same time, talking about it and doing it at the same time. Um, it does slow things down a bit, and um, I'm really really embarrassed that I actually lost a fighter um, I have never done that since I've been carrier ratting or super carrier ratting at least um, so that is an embarrassment I would rather forget so <laughs> really sorry about that um, but yeah if you do pay attention and you do keep um, your fighters moving all the time you you are not going to lose them um, just do that simple trick of um, just uh, getting them to orbit something um, and you'll find that um, yeah your character uh, your um, they try to survive quite well. Okay, until the next time, um, fly safe and um, bye for now.